Ride services in St. Kitts and Nevis are now finding out that their endeavors are actually against the law. More in this report. Ride-hailing businesses such as Uber and Lyft have grown in popularity over the past few years. And in St. Kitts and Nevis, similar services are being offered by certain businesses and individuals. However, these providers may soon find themselves in trouble with the law, as it was revealed at a recent consultation between the tourism ministry and taxi drivers that using a private vehicle to transport people for a fee is against the law. Deputy Commissioner of Police Cromwell Henry told ZIZ News that there is no legal designation for these types of ride services. If you're carrying persons for passengers for pay, then you must have the appropriate registration designation on your vehicle. Of course, if you're not carrying the appropriate designation, then you will be committing an offence. So if you're carrying a P license plate, then you should not be carrying passengers for hire or reward. You must be carrying a public service registration in order to do that. He said at this time, cracking down on these services would be impractical. If I see you carrying someone in your vehicle, I'm not going to stop you and ask you if the person is paying you or if that is your friend, or if you are carrying him for free. Uh, there must be some complaint, something would have to happen for the police to intervene. Or else it would mean that we would have to go around and stop every private vehicle and ask the passenger if they are paying. And of course, I'm certain most of them would say no. He said aside from operating illegally, ride services could also find themselves in a difficult situation when claiming from insurance companies. If there is an accident and it is discovered that they were providing this type of service, then the insurance company might just decline to honor any claim. And so the passengers, if they are injured, will not be able to claim from the insurance. And the operator of the vehicle, if he damages someone else's vehicle, or even his own vehicle, he will not get any compensation from the insurance and will find himself in some legal jeopardy having to foot all the bills on his own. Deputy Commissioner Henry says one solution would to have a specific designation made for these services that offer rides, similar to how the license plate for passenger buses have an H designation and taxis, as behind me, have a T designation. But in order for that to happen, the relevant ministries would have to make a submission to Cabinet, it would have to be, go before Parliament and then be passed into law. Reporting from the circus in downtown Bastyr for ZIZ News, I'm Jason Davis.